Hello out there, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with a review of the official Chow minifigure made by Tomy. Specifically, this is the one with a big toothy smile. Now, the only way that you could get these is to buy the three pack, which has the Sonic Knuckles and Tails figure, and each of them comes with a Chow with a different facial expression. Uh, let's put up a picture of the other two, just so you know, because I bought this one single. Yeah, so as a single, I was able to get him off of Toy Wiz for two bucks. Uh, shipping brought it up to five, which is kind of irritating. But hey, I'd rather spend five bucks on one of them than 20 bucks to get all three and then have three redundant figures. Now, to show this figure is actually really tiny, here's one of the minifigures that I made for a Patreon supporter, AC Reinhardt. Yeah, it's exactly the same size. And you know what? I painted in all the detailing. I, co I covered in his feathers and his little head flaps and his beak and stuff. This guy, aside from the tampograph of the face, has absolutely no paint. Like, none at all. It's not like a chow has a really complicated paint scheme. I mean, all you gotta do is make the wings pink and then half of the hands, half of the feet, and the little ball on top of his head should be yellow. It's such a simple, basic paint job to do, but they didn't. Um, I don't know why, aside from the fact that they were being really cheap with the paint. Um, that being said, it's a little Chow minifigure. So it's an official thing of a thing that's actually from the Sonic continuity. And although I wouldn't spend the 13 bucks to have all three of them sent to me individually, I would spend five to get one. So the only thing left to do is actually compare it to the Tomy line. And, um... As you can see, this thing is powerfully tiny. So tiny that I actually had to zoom out to reveal the figures that he would have come packaged with along with the other two Chow. So yeah, that's it for the little Chow minifigure. Um, this little guy is the cheapest of the trio. He's only two bucks. The others are three dollars if you try to buy them individually off of Toy Wiz or Amazon or whatever. Um, I, I, I guess it's because this toothy grin is, is a little bit off-putting. I remember when I was playing Sonic Adventure 2 it, and I was raising my chow, if I accidentally gave one of them an animal that made their teeth turn sharp, I would reset and try again because it was just really creepy to look at that thing. Uh, I mean, like, it's some kind of demon sharp tooth shark baby, you know? Uh, but, um, well, you know what? I actually can't stand to look at it this way anymore. Give me just a second. And there we go. Uh, about 10 minutes of work, and it looks a lot more like a chow now. Uh, now, it's not exactly the best paint job I've ever done. Uh, I might want to go over the yellow parts with one more coat because, well, you know, yellow doesn't... You know what my mantra? Nothing painted yellow ever looks good. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, Tomy probably could have used like a sprayer to apply a layer of paint that would have looked a lot smoother, but when dry brushed on, you get streaks because yellow sucks. Uh, although I do think the pink on the wings came out a little bit better. You know, like yellow and pink. It, it's literally just two colors and it's so easy to apply. And it would have been way easier to get a machine to apply them. But yeah. It's amazing how much the look of the thing is improved with just a little bit of extra coloring. I don't know why Tomy didn't bother to do it. I mean, heck, I might actually have been tricked into buying the set if these were colored like this. But that, that's, uh, that's how it goes. So that's my review of the Chow minifigure. If you're interested, that you can get them for single on Amazon or Toy Wiz or whatever for only a couple of bucks. I wouldn't recommend going through the expense of buying all three. Just pick your favorite. And, um, and, you know, like, a, a quick little paint job with some very cheap store-bought store, store -bought acrylics could make it look good. And heck, since we know that chow change colors depending on what animals or, or chow dries, or chaos dries you feed them, they, uh, they, they can actually, uh, be whatever colors you want. Take the fact that they're completely unpainted as an invitation to a blank canvas to your little minifigure customizing. Um... Oh, also, this is pretty much exactly the same size as the little cheese minifigures I make every time I make a cream custom. Just, just throwing that out there. Alright, so this is Wake Angel 2001, signing off.